17's Robert Price talked to a Bakersfield nurse affiliated with the National Network of Nurses, and he filed this report. California nurses have gone public with demands that they be provided the personal protective equipment that Cal OSHA and the highly contagious nature of the COVID-19 virus demand. Sandy Redding, a Bakersfield surgery nurse who's on the board of the California Nurses Association and a vice president of National Nurses United, has issued a plea for hospitals in Bakersfield and across the state to issue a sufficient number of masks. Nurses require several per day, Redding said, because of the risks of cross-contamination as they move from patient room to patient room. We want to make sure that nurses uh, that are on the COVID units or if they're taking care of a COVID-19 rule out patient, that they get the N95 mask or the PAPR. We also want to make sure our ER nurses are, are safe, um, ICU. So please, we also have contract language that states that a task force should be formed with uh, frontline workers as well. So we want to make sure that we ensure that that task force is up and running so that you can get the input, much needed input from nurses. This is very emotional because we want to make sure that all of our community is taken care of, that people stay indoors to help uh, prevent the spread, that nurses get the proper PPE that we need. Dignity has issued a statement in response, saying in part that it has been working nonstop to ensure that medical staffers have all the right personal protective equipment at the right time and are using it correctly. Dignity says it continues to follow the guidance provided by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and that it's working with suppliers around the world to obtain additional safety supplies. Adventist Health also released a statement saying it's working closely with vendor partners to provide supplies and sharing critical items between facilities when possible for areas with the greatest need. 17 News, Robert Price.